All right, I'm starting my next project. I was watching a YouTube video by Artie Mays where she had tea stained some envelopes. So these were plain old envelopes. I got them in a state sale. They were like, they were plain white. They look like, they were probably like Christmas card envelopes. Um, just a huge stack of bright white envelopes. And so I tea stained them to give them an antique look and just, I'm not a fan of bright white. And so now I am going to decoupage, not the whole thing, just like an accent with these uh, Halloween napkins. And then add a couple other embellishments, just really make these envelopes a little nicer, more vintage looking, um, Halloween themed. And I am going to actually use these envelopes next month. Um, I'm going to um, find a couple... Uh, ATC trading groups and trade some Halloween themed cards hopefully um, and then the envelopes will look pretty cool that go with the trading cards so yep that's my goal so let me get started and I will video bits and pieces of the process all right here is the first stage of the envelopes so I decoupaged a piece of the napkin and then when I was done I spray painted it with just some orange distress spray. I really love this. I'm almost out. I gotta go buy some more. It is perfect for Halloween. And um, I have black paint on my finger. Anyway, um, the only thing I would change is I should have done the spray first and then um, glued or decoupaged that. So live and learn, spray first and then decoupage your napkin. So then I did the witch. So like when I pull the napkin apart, I have like four of each image, so that's why I have four moons, four witches, four cats, another witch, another witch, a cat, and then two moons. Oh, and then I did, um, before I sprayed, I lightly um, sandpapered this down to give it just a little more, it was a little glossy and I wanted to smooth it out a little, so that's why it looks a little more vintage and it really helps like flatten it out so it kind of looks like a part of the envelope. So then the next part is I am going to, I have some Halloween stamps, uh, ink stamps, and so I am going to stamp some stamps on the corners. I still want to leave this space open because I actually want to use these and mail these through the U.S. postal system, so I need the spot where it, you know, who it's going to is still got space right there. So definitely want to leave areas open. I know a lot of um, junk journals, journal or ugh, crafters when they make these, that I don't actually physically mail them through this postal service. They're usually just putting them in their junk journals, but I actually want to mail these. And so um, I had to make sure I leave enough space to write an address out. All right, I'm done with the envelopes and I'm extremely happy with how they turned out. So the last two parts was I did take some Halloween stamps. This was a stamp, this is a stamp. Um, it's kind of hard to see what some of the stamps are, um, but it's okay. And then I ran it through the cuddle bug. So this spider web is from the cuddle bug and then this print right here is from the cuddle bug so it just gives it a little extra texture and then after that I just took an ink pad and just touched that so the embossing can stand out and then I ink padded the edges to just give it a little more rustic vintage fill and so see here's a stamp a spider and then um, the spider web is a stamp and of course the embossing is that spider web so I, it was, I ran it, I did not run the entire envelope through the cuddle bug. I just ran portions. Um, so it's, you know, you can do a lot with your cuddle bug. You just have to think outside the box. So that is how I managed to only emboss certain sections of the envelopes. And so same thing. You can see this a little better. Here's the embossing, but on the opposite side, I took the ink pad to make it a little better. Of course, you know the words backwards on that side, but see it says Halloween and spirits and something else like that. So anyway, that's the envelopes. They're all pretty similar. I did the same thing, the spider webs and then the um, Halloween block print. And I don't know, I'm just so happy with how these turned out. So 
turning plain old white envelopes into these little Halloween vintage um, envelopes. Here you can see the block better on this side. Um, I, that's the one thing I should have did. I should have realized the front I wasn't going to make it stand out. I should have flipped the thing over. But you know what? Live and learn. Try to practice with your cuddle bug to figure it out. And it still looks good. And then here, this is an owl stamp. This is a stamp. And there we go. A nice stack of envelopes. I think this is enough. I still have tons of tea stained envelopes, but um, I, ha I don't know how big. I haven't found any exchanges yet. I don't want to make them all Halloween and then not use them because, you know, Christmas is coming up. So this is all I'm making for now. And very, very happy with how they turned out. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you later.